What up, fam? Manly Brandon here, and um, I decided I'm gonna do like a series of videos to help out beginning lifters and stuff like that because I myself am a beginning lifter, so you're getting it from my perspective. So I am by no means an expert. Just as this is what's helped me out, you know, like I'm not impressive still, but I've lost a lot of weight and I've gained a lot of strength and muscle. So I, I'm following advice that I hear, and I'm gonna like kind of bring it all together for you guys to try to make this a little bit easier. And I'm actually thinking about like, uh, I've, I've written a program for my son and myself and I, I wanna see how it's going and then maybe start helping people write their own programs and stuff like that. So we'll see how that goes. But today, first ep episode of this, uh, I'm talking about building your own home gym. Now it's a, a myth that you have to go to a gym and work out in a gym, that's just not true. You can actually uh, build yourself quite a nice home gym if you have the space. That's gonna be the biggest obstacle. I have a garage area that I can use. Maybe you have an extra room or whatever. You don't need a lot of equipment. I probably have too much, and uh, variety is the spice of life and everything, but sometimes it's uh, overwhelming, especially because you can get a lot of benefit just from doing calisthenics, which I'll cover in a later video. But uh, basically, uh, what I got here is uh, kind of standard equipment that's a little bit not centered the total gym and I I got lucky I found that at a thrift shop and maybe you will too but that's a thousand dollar piece of equipment that I got for 32 bucks so and it came with other stuff too so I, I got the deal of the century on that but basically what you need at home is a bench press some free weights which can be bought for cheap at Walmart they're not gonna be the nice ones they're gonna be the the sand ones but they work heavy weights work uh, and a bar. And then you can pretty much design your own program around that. Uh, a bench, I recommend like a bench, but you can use your bench press bench because I love bench dips because I love working on my triceps. It's like my favorite muscle to work. Uh, can't really tell here. My pump's going away, which sucks. I just finished a pretty hard workout on my arms. But uh, yeah. Uh, but I also went out and bought a, a pull up bar on Amazon. And it was like 50 bucks, so that's not bad. And you can do all kinds of, you can do dips there, pull-ups, chin-ups. I bought some arm straps for 15 bucks so you can hang and do ab works. That's like a, a station that you can do a whole bunch of stuff on. Uh, I recommend it. It's cheap. Uh, this is a sit-up bench uh, for abs if that's what you want, if you want your abs to be popping. Because they you can't make them appear that way, but you can make them... You can, they're like any other muscle. You can progressively overload them. So if you want your abs to pop, which uh, as I continue to lose weight, I will maybe start doing more abs to make them pop more. I went off the rails a little bit yesterday. It was my son's birthday party, like a lot of bit yesterday. So I'm making up for it today, uh, working out a little bit harder than usual, try to burn off some extra cows, even though burning calories in the weight room is a bad idea. You need to burn that doing cardio. The weight room is the long term. That's where you, you up your metabolic rate. You don't burn calories out here. Like I all the exercises I just did, I probably burned two hundred calories and I like I am smoked. My arms are like dead. It's not big for calorie burning, but it if you build muscle you'll burn more calories in the long run. I'll do a full video on that too. Um like I said a bench. The total gym's good because it is literally a total gym, but it's body weight. But what I like about this one is you can add weight to it. So I've actually got a couple hundred extra pounds on there. Uh, I weigh 185 and I added another 200 pounds to it. So like I'm effectively working at 100% my body weight because I think at the highest setting it's 55%. So actually maybe a little bit more like 110% or whatever. I'm not really good at math. I also bought one of those leg and preacher curl benches. And these are all cheap. Like uh, all this stuff that I bought is like cheap. I, everything out here, punching bags, all that stuff, I've spent less than $500 on everything. So you can build a decent home gym for less than a thousand dollars. They will get everything you need to do. Like the basic home gym will do it. Like people were strong back in the day, not having all this fancy equipment. You don't need all the fancy equipment. I got the squat bar, the squat rack and all that stuff. You can do that. Um, if, but if you're scared of doing squats because it is can be dangerous on the squat rack, then like I said, the total gym does the same thing. You can do, you can hold, you know, there's all kinds of different things. I, I, I actually have two home gyms. This one and my the one in my son's room, and they're both like th equipped the same way. Instead of a squat rack down there, I have a squat, a special squat uh, bar setup. 
It's like a, a U shape, like it's a, a hexagon trap bar or something like that. I can't remember what it's called, but like you can do squats and deadlifts with it, and it, it works just as good as the rack. I mean, like it's probably there's probably some scientific difference or whatever, but in terms of how you feel and the pump you get, it's not. It's it's very equal. Just don't be intimidated by starting out thinking that price is a barrier to entrance, and like having a home gym, maybe you'll have less excuses because sometimes it is a hassle to get to the gym. You're like, oh, I, I ain't got time to work it in. But if you're at home, if you're just going to be sitting there watching TV, throw on the TV, which I have a TV out here. I listen to music and stuff. And you can just hit a workout. Why not? Like an hour out of your day is, is for massive benefits. Like you're going to love it, like the way you feel, the way you look. But don't come out here to your this gym work, trying to lose weight uh, unless you're just going to hit the, the bike all day, which the bike is – in retirement until the summertime because I'm going to start hitting cardio again. Or you can do boxing. Boxing is fun for cardio. But yeah, a home gym does not have to be expensive. You don't need a lot of equipment. Dumbbells, barbells. I recommend an easy curl bar and just lots of weights and a couple benches. Just things just so you can uh, have stuff to prop up and start your exercises. If you have a that kind of bench, you can do bench press. You can do skull crushers. You can do bench dips you can sit on there and uh do all your concentration curls everything like you just a bench you got i have multiple benches you don't need that many you just need one and you can do all kinds of stuff so don't let that be a barrier to entry for you do what you need to do spend a couple hundred bucks get yourself a little decent setup and start working out it'll change your life all right peace